Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. Today we're going to talk about the forgotten weapon, syringers. Now you can craft basic syringers that shoot blanks at your weapons bench. So let's head on over and make a few blank syringers. Go into craft. Go down to pipe guns. They're considered a pipe weapon. And there you see on the bottom right, syringer. So we're going to craft four basic syringers. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the four specialty barrels. Bleed Out does 30 points of damage over 10 seconds to target. Next up is the Bloatfly Larva Syringe Barrel. Now, I'm taking you to what I think is the best location now, which is at Aaron Holt Farms. It's in the far northwest part of the map, right near Tyler County Fairgrounds. Now, my episode a few months back of a camp that had many bloat flies has now been changed for the DLC. They've added some kind of arrow later and a half portion of that area is now uncampable and all the bloat flies and believe me there was like eight or ten of them every time you spawned in they are now gone so in my opinion this is the next best location to farm bloat fly glands now for this syringer you're going to need ten of them so you kind of have to outrun uh, the sting wings and the ghouls and in this area here right near that shed is where they usually spawn okay so no luck that time so it is time to server hop back to this location and hopefully a few bloat flies will respawn. So let's quit to the main menu. Jump back in. If you head between the barn and the little barn there, you're going to run in a lot of feral dogs. So I just kind of stay to the right and aim for the right side of the water tower and then just hug the little rock cliff all the way around. Let's see if we have better luck this time. These fields are filled with ghouls, blood bugs, bloat flies, all kinds of stuff. There we go. Oh, there's a bunch. Now, not every time are you going to get the gland. I was lucky on that one. And definitely use a melee weapon. If you shoot these things out of the sky, they're going to land in the grain and grass and you're never going to find their little bodies. Just like now, I couldn't find one. There's one of the sting wings. So definitely melee. And there we go, we've got a couple already. And there's one way out there in the field where they usually spawn. Now this was about 10 to 15 server jumps to get the 10 bloat fly glands that I needed for this syringer. So it's not easy. The bleeder and the endanger all ones are very easy to make but the bloatfly one and definitely the rad scorpion stinger one is those two are a lot of farming for the, the glands and the stingers. Okay, let's take a look and see how many I have collected already. 
Just a word of caution, they do store in your junk items. And that's it right there. Another very strange thing was after I made it, it didn't call it a bloat fly syringer. It left it blank as just syringer. So be very careful you do not scrap it. So you can see there it just says syringer and then the right side, chance on death for target to spawn a bloat fly. So the third one you can make is the Endangerol syringe barrel. And this one I think is the best of all four. Reduces a target's damage resistance by 25% for two minutes. That's considerable. And our last syringe barrel is the hardest one to complete and that is the red scorpion venom syringe barrel now as you can see i already have 10 of the rad scorpion stingers but i'm going to take you to this location which is just a little bit east of the white spring resort and it's called middle mountain cabins and yes my power armor is a little bit in the red because i've been taking quite a hit from all of these rad scorpions that jump out now there should be two, possibly three red scorpions will spawn here. So again, you have to server hop. And let's take a look and see if we got one of the stingers. And that's a no. And luckily, we spot the second one in the distance. Yeah, there's a bear trap there. I keep hitting that every time I come down that little driveway. Also, a special note, there's a little picnic basket with a secret food recipe for royal jelly taffy over by one of the cabins. And just a side note, if the recipe for the royal jelly taffy is gone, just take the royal jelly and craft the royal jelly taffy and you'll have the recipe. And this is why my power armor is red. Okay, let's respawn and go back and kill that third one. And it is somehow decided to vanish. Well, at least we got another syringer. Now the way to get these um, barrels, if I haven't already stated, is scrapping blank syringers. I think I said that at the beginning of the video. Okay, so out of the three that we killed, only this one gave up the Rad Scorpion Stinger. So this could take you a good solid day to try to get the 10 that you need to complete the Syringer. So let's head back to camp and craft. There it is. Go ahead and make that. Takes a little bit of black titanium along with the 10 rad scorpion stingers. So here are the four that you can make again. The bleed out syringer. Endangerol syringer. That one's my favorite. Rad Scorpion Venom Syringer. And again, the Bloatfly one. 
And the final syringer that I will do in another video is the one you obtain from Rose, and that is Rose's Karma Syringer. So I'll do a separate video on that one. So thanks for watching and see you out in the world with all of our very cool syringers.